It's a little follow up on the Gibby tank bag, which I posted a video on. This is really a review and how I found whether it's as good as I thought it would be. Principally, I'd have to say yes. Um, it's a brilliant little piece of kit. Um, obviously, the tank ring, done all that. That's a nice, easy way of putting it on and off. Um, capacity is a little bit compromised because of the tank ring. Uh, once we get inside it, we see that the, the ring piece is in there. Um, this glasses case is a nice thought, to be honest. It's much more space. If you've got glasses, you tend to keep them in a, a glasses case anyway. Um, for some glasses, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. Um, it comes with obviously a rain cover which sits in this area which actually is not an area I've even used yet but given that that squashed down a bit I've put a few bits in there and obviously the phone holder is in there as well the only grumbles I've got really are that the phone holder in my opinion spoils it a little bit and obviously that for a reason and I'm guessing that this plastic would degrade in the sunlight. Um, I haven't used this phone holder a great deal, obviously when I go away I will and once I combine it with a, a USB port which I've got now a little dongle for my bike which is the European style which on the Triumph will fit in nicely. It will be handy to keep the phone on charge especially as the phones as we all know, come about a two year term, their battery dies on them. That, in saying that it's not the prettiest thing, it spoils the look of it a little bit. I would say it's quite handy. It's this little piece here. At the moment, I've just got a little card in now. Tire pressures. I should know off by heart, but there you go. But just stick a debit card in there for when you go in the petrol station makes a lot of faffing around obsolete so the capacity when you look at it it looks fairly big but the capacity isn't fantastic but then again all you want to do is put in you need house keys a few bits and bobs and considering that I actually ride a bike that's got more as much luggage space as any bike I think this is just useful just to have it straight in front of you for the glasses a wipe for your lenses and wallet whatever you care to put in there I found that the the clip ring tank lock system as they call it to be really useful but it tends to sit it quite up for the capacity it's quite a, it's sat quite up and on my particular bike, which is the Triumph Sprint GT, it sits quite far back. And initially I thought it was going to be a problem. In actual fact, riding it is never not an issue at all. Um, I tend to use it when the bike is certainly without all the luggage on. And I'm just going out for the day. This is great because although I've got a little locket, a little cubby hole in the front of the bike, that is actually on a key and a faff and a, it's a lid that comes up and it's, it's not a nice pop-up um, glove box type lid. It's actually a piece you have to take off. Nice, it's lockable, you can put something safe in there, but this is a far better piece of kit. I like the idea you can transfer it to almost any bike. And it's the hard shell sort of thing. It's a shame it's not waterproof, but you get what you pay for. Um, as I say, the glasses case, I'm, I've, I keep using it and thinking I shouldn't use it. It's quite useful, and to be honest, if you don't need to take too much stuff, it's useful just to put your sunglasses in. Um, but by the time you put sunglasses, perhaps a peaked hat or something, and a few other bits in there, it tends to fill up a bit, but I've not really packed it very carefully. It is just that sort of chuck a few bits in that box. So really, am I impressed? Yes. Uh, has it done what I th 
expect it to do? Yes. Um, expensive? Yes. But then most of this sort of technical gear is. It has got a shoulder strap, but to be honest, I don't think I'd ever use that. I just want to take it somewhere, I'll just take it off. The only faff, of course, is when you're in a petrol station, you have to release it. That spring is. That's a monster spring. That's a bit of a pull sometimes. You have to put it on the saddle of the bike, and obviously, you have to clip it back on. Uh, what you don't want to do is put it on the petrol pump because then you'll leave it behind. So, I tend to take it off, put it on the saddle, fill it up, put it on, and to put this on, it literally put it there, wriggle, click. It's going nowhere. It's a good, good, really good fitment. Um, when it's not on the bike, the tank ring is a bit. It's not pretty, but as I say, for the most point, for the most times, I'll tend to treat this as a go-to. If I'm going touring, I'll use this. Not that we've gotten away for any touring this year so far, but even on a big day trip, um, I would tend to use this. Um, out on the bike just for a Saturday ride, take all the luggage off, and just take this. It's. Uh, it's a great piece of kit, so I haven't uh, got any grumbles about it at all, really. Um, as I say, that this particular little piece, it comes off if you want to take the whole thing off. And then, obviously, it's much prettier. The phone, I've not tried to use the phone, but I'm assured, somebody I spoke to, that the touchpad on the phone will work through this. Um, it doesn't really bother me if it doesn't. I tell you, I've got a... Senno is the phone's connected to. I suppose if you were stuck on a lay by, want to phone your mate saying, Where the blooming hell are you? You could, uh, it would be easier to use that. Uh, for me, the charging point is going to be good. Oh, so I've uh, this particular phone is a, it's a Motorola, but it's coming up for two years old and it is being subject to the updates from the manufacturer, and of course, they update it to. Make sure the battery doesn't explode when you charge it, I guess. So there you are. That's it for the Givy tank lock case. I don't know what litre size this is. It's about, I don't know, about 70 quid, I think. So it was not a cheap piece of kit. Um, but for me, um, it works fine. I've got a magnetic, an old magnetic one, which I actually can't find. An old magnetic one, an Oxford one, which was fine. Yeah. It was a faff, you always have to bunge, uh, use the strap onto the headstock or something and then when you come to sort of, if you have to take it off, well, you're constantly lifting the tank bag up to refuel, clip it back on. I used to use a pad which would prevent scratching to the tank. Um, and when it came to, the, it's just literally falling apart now. So I use that for my older bikes if I want to go out for the day. Um, the magnetic, so it'll, on the BSA it will clip on the back rack. Um, but really on the new bike, I didn't want to put that whole thing on there because it would make it look a bit tacky. And of course, possibility of scratching the tank. So again, for me, the Gibby tank lock system works really well. I'm impressed with it. Although it looks quite big, I think space is a little bit compromised because of this. Um, but overall, how much space do you need? If you want a massive one, they do do massive ones. Um, but for me, on my bike, that would be overkill because, as I say, I've got luggage everywhere. So really, that's about it. And uh, I would, yeah, I'd recommend it. Uh, there's not much I recommend in this life, but that's for the money. Uh, I suppose you could say it's not lockable on the bike. Somebody could nick it. Yeah, of course they could. But then again, that's why you're supposed to take it off. Um, and I suppose if you went to a restaurant with this clunky great big thing, it is what it is. Um, if you want to, I suppose you could take it off and stop sticking in top box. I tend to keep my top box empty um, if I'm touring, and the simple reason for that is if I can. There's only me. There's only me on my own, so I tend to pack my side bags um, with what I need, and then put um, nothing or very little in the top box, just so when I do stop, I can put my crash helmet in there. So realistically, if I was stopping at a motorway service station, I'd unclip this put my crash helmet and this in the top box, lock it. And that to me is uh, 
just something that works. Others might have a different view, it's only my opinion, and uh, as I say, for me, I think it's uh, a nice piece of kit. There you go.